we're going to take you inside some ginormous mansions that come with equally ginormous price tags, but they're also sparking an unexpected dose of drama. ABC's Brandy Hitt has the update. There is 13 bedrooms. There is about 20 bathrooms in total. Wow. Mega real estate developer Mohammed Hadid has made a career building luxury hotels and homes for the uber rich. Hello, ladies. Such as this one, showcased on Bravo's reality show Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, featuring Hadid's ex wife Yolanda Foster and it girl daughter and model Gigi Hadid. We just brought in these, all these olive trees from Northern California. But and these days, are, uh, Hadid is not making many friends in Beverly Hills or in even more exclusive Bel Air. This, this is actually one of the medium-sized ones. This is about, I would say, 30,000 square foot <laughs> home. Yeah. Some high-end developers seem to be done with mega mansions, tearing them down for the new giga mansions. And nearby residents like Jennifer Aniston, whose house is 8,500 square feet, are fighting back, voicing outrage to city officials. The very idea that a building of 90 thousand square feet can be called a home seems at the least a significant distortion of building codes. This 50,000 square foot mansion built and lived in by Hadid has a 300 seat ballroom, Turkish bath, large infinity pool and a 5,000 square foot guest suite. Why build homes this size, this big? There's a need for it, and they, uh, the, you have a customer who's asking for it. The ultra-rich living richer. He says a new generation of global billionaires is driving this construction boom. This is not your typical in-home theater. And they want it all. They expect to have a theater in their, these mansions, from 20 seats up to 50 seats or 70 seats. What is the number one amenity buyers are looking for when they are purchasing a house of this magnitude? A entertainment area. They want to have that splash to have uh, two or three hundred people party. They need to have several bars areas and an outdoor area, something specific about a house that is different than anybody else. That includes outdoor landscaping that feels like a resort, a swimming pool that stands out, maybe two or three, and the best location. Luxury mansions soaring beyond 20,000 square feet are popping up on street after street, some 40,000 square feet, and some reaching a staggering 90,000 square feet, bigger than the White House and Taj Mahal hall combined. This estate called Lion Gate boasts a 3,000 square foot master suite, three living rooms and a salt water pool. It recently sold for more than $46 million. To some, this kind of giga construction seems more like a giga invasion. Brandy, this is uh, the, the backyard, uh, the wonderful part about this house. Just yards from entertainment attorney Joe Horacek's front door, this 30,000 square foot wall of glass, steel and cement is being developed by, you guessed it, Mohammed Hadid. Do you feel like he's invading your privacy? I feel the privacy is completely and totally gone. Horacek says for 15 years he's lived a quiet life tucked away in the hills until Hadid bought the house above him, tore it down and began excavating thousands of cubic yards of soil from the hillside. And what do you see when you look up there? Personally, I see the Starship Enterprise um, and I get very angry also. What's your biggest concern? Biggest concern is a combination of the total invasion of privacy the total disregard which I believe uh, Mohammed Hadid has for the building code and for the safety of living beneath it. You think the house could end up in your property? I think there's clearly that chance. The city of Los Angeles is not happy either. They issued a stop work order after building inspectors found that Hadid added several unapproved features to the house, including this underground in-home theater. You had your permits revoked and a stop order on construction. Correct. Why was that? Uh, well, they, uh, the, uh, the neighbor have complained to the city and they decided that uh, uh, they want to look into it. We got our permits correctly. You can see the ocean from here. So you can see it's a uh, the uh, very uh, it's kind of modern home. Hadid showed us the property from his perspective, where you can see Horacek's house directly below. Whoever is going to live here is not going to stand here 
look down. You know, and he can do something with that. He can put uh, shrubs, he can do other things. Since our story first aired, Hadid has gone back to the approved building plans. His attorney telling us it's going to be simpler to remove those add-ons now and have the house comply with the original set of plans so that our client can finish the project. And when it is finished, this Giga Mansion will have two wine cellars, a moving bar that swivels, and a wraparound infinity pool. You have the people who have the yacht and they have the plane and they have uh, the house in Santorini and they're buying a house in LA. Real estate expert David Kramer says this high-end building boom started with the sale of famed TV producer Aaron Spelling's 56,000 square foot home. People saw the reality of we have buyers here. He sold the Spelling Manor for 85 million and says it opened the floodgates for larger luxurious homes. Who can afford these homes? Everyone thinks it's foreign buyers, it's everybody. It is local, it's entertainment, it's hedge fund, um, banking, computer, definitely technology people, and then a lot of foreign buyers. Probably 30 to 40 percent are uh, foreign buyers. All this development comes at a price, say some irate neighbors, pointing to the deaths of two LAPD officers killed by construction vehicles. Here's another truck. Here's another truck. As a result, Fred Rosen, the former CEO of Ticketmaster, who recently founded a neighborhood alliance, cringes at every large truck in his neighborhood. Is this a regular occurrence on your street? Yeah. There are people at home who are going to watch this and say, this is a fight of millionaires against billionaires. Yeah, no, I know. There's always somebody with more, so that's not the issue. We just want them building it safe. The 20, 28 or the 30 is the one straight ahead with the uh, camper. Okay. Maureen Levinson, a Bel Air mother of two, is a member of the Neighborhood Alliance. She became sort of a modern day video vigilante over a massive 90,000 square foot property up the road from her. Hi, are you at the construction site up here? There's wildlife here. Um, and that's the way Bel Air used to be uh, very peaceful and quiet. And now you have a truck, oh, two yeah. trucks, three you, trucks going through. Yeah. Levinson's neighbors' 8 and 10,000 square foot homes are now some of the homes considered to be teardowns. That's a million dollar yeah, that's, view. That's a uh, 10 million dollar view. <laughs> but this is what neighbors are viewing with so many giga mansions going up. They would come down in convoys, they were like freight train. Now, some are waiting for this ultra rich real estate bubble to burst. Do you think you'll ever have peace and quiet again? Uh, not for many, many, many years. Until then, if you can afford a house of this magnitude and want to throw a party for friends, Mohammed Hadid has a few ideas. This is a, uh, this is a uh, the wine cellar. How many bottles of wine? This, this is a 5,000 uh, uh, bottle of wine, wine cellar. I haven't counted them lately. I was say for Nightline, I'm Brandy Hitt in Los Angeles.